Full disclaimer before jumping in to today's video, do not let the 15 to 20 minute time frame fool you. This project has taken Bronson and I hours and hours and hours and days and days and days. So if you are going to take this on, just know you will get through it. No, it will not come together as quickly as what is shown here on my video and in many other videos you're going to see on YouTube. But I do hope it gives you the inspiration that you need to make over your wardrobe. We are so pleased that the IKEA and Kmart products we purchased have made for such amazing organizational solutions. And with that being said, let's jump right on in to today's video. Hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel, Life of Zeons. Today I have for you a wardrobe organization video. Now, by G, this has been a process, guys. This has been a process. Bronson and I actually started our wardrobe declutter journey over a week ago, or it might have even been two weeks ago. A week? A week. And uh, as with any wardrobe declutter, it has taken so much longer than we ever expected. So we worked really hard last weekend to declutter everything that needed gone, essentially. We have got a huge donations pile that we are going to be taking out of this house to make so much more space and try and help us actually keep on top of keeping our wardrobe tidy. Because as it stands, we have got every season out and about and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just a nightmare. This is the before footage that I'm showing you right now. This was taken a week ago and uh, yeah, it's just a mess guys, seriously. We're exposing ourselves and all our wardrobe mess to the internet right now, but hey, we keep it real, that's for sure. <laughs> but today I'm actually going to get into the nitty gritty. So we have not really, <laughs> Cosmetically, it doesn't really look like we have made much progress. This is the current state of our wardrobe as it stands. As you can see, it doesn't even really look like we've done uh, huge amounts, especially the state of the floor is atrocious. But today is the day I am giving it its complete makeover. We've got the storage from IKEA. We're ready to do the full overhaul and get our Bloomin' Wardrobe into shape. So first up, because we already organized all of the clothes that we want to put in storage, I am actually going to move all of this into the uh, IKEA storage baskets that are just up here at the moment. This was all the hard work that we did last weekend. So I'm actually just gonna drag these boxes down, once for me and once for Bronson. So that is going to make just this whole entire space a lot easier to work with in general. One of the great things I love about these IKEA storage solutions is you can actually just open half at a time. Oh, am I going to be able to do this with one hand? That is the question. So basically, within here, you can just, yeah, I just think that's great. You're not having to take the whole lid off each and every time if you did need to get something out of here. And uh, time to get the goods into the containers. Just by finally having all of those clothes out of the way, that has just really opened up the space. Of course, before we actually had our old side tables stacked on top of each other in this space, but it really closed it all off. In these boxes up here, the cane ones, we sorted out like the rest of our house as well. And this is the belongings that we're keeping. We just needed space for linen and basically all of this was in our linen cupboard and now we can actually store it up here so our linen is so much more organized. But we have things like stationery, tech, Christmas ornaments, travel bits and bobs and we even have a vacant box as well. So we've got a little bit of space there to be able to put some extra things in if need be. 
but yes overall I am happy with this organized space it looks fantastic now I'm going to move on to hanging up everything that can be hung up onto coat hangers and try and fix this glorious floor space that just seems to always end up like this as I said full exposure guys full exposure so I've got a packet of coat hangers and I've also reached down from the top shelf these two storage boxes whoopsie daisy I'm actually going to be putting these ones in here as like kind of extra pull out drawers for things that don't need to be hung up such as PJs at the moment we have just got some old caps in there these grey lids are actually from other containers like this around our house uh, that are grey instead of white so I'm just gonna move those over there for now so pajamas are actually going to be going into this one here <laughs> So after that sort out we've got all of the to hang that was on the ground I know we're hopeless at hanging it up and then this is the things that I would like to keep in these storage boxes I am going to zhuzh these a little bit more as well So that took a ridiculously long time. I do not know how people have the patience to do that with all of their clothes. In all honesty, I can basically guarantee that this is not going to stay looking this way because I do not have that kind of time on my hands. But for now, I'm going to slide these in to where they need to be. I might actually spin it that way because the clothes at the front there look more, more pleasing to the eye. And uh, there is a little bit of space in this one for any extra around the house clothing. So at least we have got some room in there. But the idea of this was just to be able to pull these out each and every time we need them. Because what was happening before is we would fold everything and push it all in, push it all in, push it all in. And then all of a sudden we need the very thing at the very back and then everything gets pulled out. Which is exactly why there was a massive pile of all of these folded clothes in this space before. It's because both Bronson and I have been hunting right at the back for other items of clothing. In turn, messing up our whole entire wardrobe in the process. So all of this is now going to be hung on to coat hangers. It's already looking a lot better in here than what it was when I started filming this morning, which I'm thrilled about. we have made such good progress I am going to put all of our summer bottoms along here shorts and my skirts and I might just color code this because I think that will look cuter I am so happy with that color coding progress I think that that looks so so good so now that I have organized all of our summer shorts and my skirts, that's a mixture of Bronson and I's clothing. Of course we're in spring so we are going to be getting a lot more wear out of all of these items of clothes that we haven't been wearing throughout winter whatsoever. I've now got to move on to the mammoth task of organizing this side of the wardrobe. Currently Bronson and mine's clothing 
is all mixed in together. So I'm actually gonna make a his and hers pile to begin with, and then we can go from there. Okay, now I have my pile and Bronson's pile. I am feeling so overwhelmed and I don't really know how to go about making this look nice. I definitely want to color code it for sure. I think what I am going to do, because I do have some space left in my box of like storage, I am going to go through one more time and just make sure that I've put all of the stuff that I really just do not wear but want to keep up into here again, which is gonna be a hassle because it's already off the air, but I gotta do what I gotta do. There's a few more clothes that are going to go into that storage box. I've actually cleared some more coat hangers as well, which is great because of course we've got washing at the moment and that will need to be hung up onto some coat hangers. So having spare coat hangers is a plus and uh, yeah, now I've got to drag that storage box back down and put the stuff into it. Now the color coding begins. Guys, 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 I'm so happy. I have just finished color coding the entire wardrobe so i've got my stuff on this side bronson stuff on this side lightest no darkest to lightest and then i've got all of the pants darkest to lightest here i uh i just yeah i'm so happy with how all of this is coming together i have a bunch of a spear coat hangers to the side here we do have some washing so we will need some extras but i'm actually going to go through our work our workout gears which is just down here um, these boxes are intended just to throw all of our workout gears into. Um, but as you can see, they are completely out of hand. So I might just see what I can do with this department. And uh, yeah, hopefully make this look a lot better. So I've gone ahead and put the exercise gears back, but in the process of doing so, I've just realized that I've basically gone and recreated the exact same system that isn't working out for us. So rather than sticking with a system that's not working, I am going to actually stand these up to try and make them like cupboards or like drawers because that is one thing we are seriously lacking in this space and that is drawers. So if I were to stack each of them side by side here, I'll just take all of that. I know I've literally just folded it but it's not working anyway. So might as well just undo all my hard work. <laughs> and then if I put each of them like so, I don't know where the lid is for this one. The lid for that one is there, but the lid for this one is God knows. <laughs> All right, so in that instance, I can actually fold and stack the clothes so we can just, the thing we need, we can just hopefully pull out without having to dig through the whole thing. Let's see how this goes. I actually found the second lid. It has dropped behind the shoe rack. So I'm pleased I at least know the location of that one now. I'm going to try and put them 
stacked like this, but we'll see how we go. Just like the pajama drawer, it took me ages before. That also took me ages and there is no way that this is going to last. But for now, it's looking quite good. I can't complain, it definitely does look neat, which is the idea. I just don't know how practical this is gonna be for Bronson and I. Now, I've got this pile of stuff that I need to work through here. So I think for these bags and things, there is actually a space at the end of the wardrobe here. Uh, there is actually suitcases in that area at the moment. I figured this stuff can actually just hang at the end because it is quite messy looking and that would just kind of hide all of that junk, essentially. <laughs> and then for these jerseys, um, we are coming into spring, but every now and then you do still need to grab a like jumper. So what I'm thinking for the extra jumpers, because it's not quite time for me to put them into here, I am actually going to put them in this spare basket. So they're obviously not something I can hang up because of the type of fabric. They might get stretched, so I never put my jumpers onto hangers. But I think that box there is going to be the perfect spot for them. This is coming together so, so well. I am absolutely in love. So I've just put my sweatshirts up in the cane basket up there, which is really good going. We are so close to the end now, which I am thrilled about because this has been a process. So it will be so good when this is all over and done with. It'll just feel so perfectly organized. Now, of course, there is a few things on the floor that need to be sorted, the coat hanger, packaging that has just been left there from hanging up my clothes earlier and also there are a few marks on the walls that I want to scrub off with a magic eraser so I am going to just give everything a bit of a once over sweep clean make sure all the final little touches are just where they need to be and then we will be done guys I cannot wait Can we all just let the choir sing? Sing Dora the Explorer. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. I cannot share with you my excitement of actually completing this project. Do not let this 15 to 20 minute video fool you on just how long this took. Because I tell you what, this has been a process. A huge process and I am so happy that everything is organized. I just feel like a huge weight has lifted off my shoulders and just to have everything perfectly color coded and in its place and we'll just be able to find things so much easier. Now, Bronson and I are the type of people, I just know that it is not going to stay like this. I do not have time to fold all the little itty bitty pieces of clothes to make them fit perfectly into rows like I've done today. That is just not something going forward that is going to be the case. How Ever, at least we've got designated zones for everything which I think is going to help a lot. Enjoy these before and afters.
not too sure because honestly this has been a process as I said. All of these storage bins are from Ikea. The top ones were $25 each. I feel like that one is a different size. Like I thought they were all the same size but I'm really second guessing and I've also tried turning it as well because I thought oh maybe I just have it on the wrong side but no so I don't know what's going on there and it's going to kind of bug me but anyway $25 each for the top ones $20 each for the big gigantic tubs that we're storing our clothes in we also have the coat hangers all from Kmart I've got a mixture of the white as well as the felt these I got more recently, the felt we've had for quite a long time. We also got the grey storage boxes from Kmart. The shoe rack is from Ikea. We've had this for quite a long time. It's from one of our old apartments back in Melbourne. It travelled up to Queensland with us. And then down here as well, we've also got these storage boxes from Kmart. These do come with lids. However, I just like to keep them open for the ease of being able to slide things out. Let's face it, it is definitely not going to stay like that. And also, yes, Bronson and I do have all matching pajamas which I just think is too cute <laughs> hashtag couple goals right <laughs> so um yes that's basically where all of the storage bits and bobs are from oh I am just so happy that this project is finished guys so so happy if you made it to this point of the video leave me a handbag emoji down below i hope you made it to this point if you have thank you ever so much if you haven't yet had the chance to hit the subscribe button please do give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and i look forward to seeing you in our next video bye